So, the Pope. Pope's been in the news a lot lately. Um, everybody seems to think he's such a progressive, he's a reformer, and he's going to be doing all these great things for the world and for everybody's faith, for the Catholics. Um, it's a ruse, people. It's it's a PR stunt. Y'all y'all don't fall for this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's real easy to see. Um, the Catholic Church is known for hiding pedophiles. They hide child molesters. You know, so that when one of these priests gets caught molesting a child, um, it gets swept under the rug, and that priest gets sent to another country and another church somewhere and it's 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 hidden and this is not a secret everybody knows this now put yourself in the shoes of the Pope uh, it, it, let's say you're the Pope and you're about to be uh, you're about to become the Pope you're a priest you're about to become the Pope and uh, you're you're a reformer you want to change things you want to make things right you know and you understand these things have been going on these uh, priests raping children in, in God's own home, for that matter, and, and uh, they've gotten away with it. Um, any moral person, their first job would be to make sure justice was received for those children. Um, and that has not been done. That should be the first thing that's done for any, any moral person, that, that would be their first instinct to make sure that that was taken care of. Now it's been brought up and they respond, and, you know, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it takes time to make these changes and, and uh, you know, basically just making up justifications for this guy and, and I'm not going to hear it. It's bullshit and I, I refuse to listen to that crap. It, if you want to release the names of a bunch of pedophiles that you have hidden, you can do that in one morning over a cup of coffee. There's no reason that it should take weeks and months and years to release a name, release a list of names of people that have done harm to these children. These people should not be protected. They should be in jail. All of the Vatican has to do is release those names to the proper authorities and let those authorities do their job. That's all that has to happen. What's the holdup? Why why isn't that being done? That's not a reformer. The Pope is a PR guy. That's what he is. He's a PR guy. When he first came in, when he first became the Pope, the first thing he said, one of the first things he told people was that atheists could go to heaven. And then the, the, the Vatican officials came back and, and corrected him and said, oh no, he was mistaken. That's not true. He's a PR guy. He's a hyped up PR guy. Vatican officials are correcting him and he's supposed to be the guy that sits in a room and talks to God himself. This guy supposed, is supposed to have a direct line to God. That's what this, the claim is. He sits down in a room and converses with God one-on-one. -on -one. That's the claim. Vatican officials shouldn't be able to go and, and correct him. But they do. Why? Because he's a PR guy. He's a public relations guy. That's it. That's it. And he's trying to smooth things over for the world and act like a reformer. Fuck you. I want justice for these innocent children that were raped in your God's home. That's what I want. Those names should be released, and those people should be in jail. Sorry, it, it angers me. My video's over. Peace out, y'all.